Cantonese cuisine is the culinary style of Guangdong province. This particular type of Chinese food has been popularized by Chinese restaurants around the world, as the majority of those who set up these restaurants were of Cantonese origin. But what comes to mind when you think of Chinese food? Guangdong dishes are characterized by their tender and slightly sweet taste. Sauces are a crucial seasoning in Guangdong cuisine. Classic Cantonese sauces are light and mellow. American Chinese cuisine often uses ingredients not native to and very rarely used in China. One such example is common use of Western broccoli. Any Chinese dish with broccoli in it is not a real traditional Chinese dish. Guangzhou is very near the Peel River Delta, therefore in the 18th century, a lot of the Cantonese immigrated to Southeast Asia or North America. They opened up restaurants and brought their home cooking styles to America during the Cold War. And nowadays, most of the Chinese restaurants in Western countries mainly provide Cantonese cuisine, and most of the head chefs of these restaurants are trained in Hong Kong or Singapore. Wonton are made by spreading a square wrapper, a dough skin made of flour, egg, water, and salt, flat in the palm of the one's hand, placing a small amount of filling in the center, and salting the wonton into the desired shape by compressing the wrapper edges together with the fingers. Adhesion may be improved by moisturing the wrapper's inner edges. The crab and soup is now done after two hours. The broth is clear and light, ready to eat. The taste of the broth was light and sweet, combining meats and vegetables. This is the traditional Cantonese dish and noodles that represents the family bonds. 
In old belief, the noodle represents long life. The crab is believed to represent the growth of the family. The noodle making skill is passed through each generation, adding their own personality to the dish.